Hey, Bob. Too hotty. Oh, it's Rob and Melissa. Hey, Scott. Hello. This place is gorgeous. I can't, what? You haven't even you seen haven't it? You have been here? Mwah. Where no, were you I at haven't. the housewarming party? Laker game with Chloe. Oh my gosh. Do you think Eskimos really kiss oh, like baby. that? Okay. That's weird. <laughs> Wait, what are you guys doing here? Chloe thinks that Robert and I are on a date right now. Wait, why? Yeah. Well, since Chloe's really pushing us to date, we're gonna make her think that that's exactly what's going on. So you guys are pretending to be on a date right now? Yeah. And then you're really gonna fall in love. Yeah, no, no, Courtney. You should at least try to have sex just to see how it feels. No, that's then, okay. You guys can help us. Like, what else can we do to like... Scott. You should yeah. put on something of her, her like, lingerie stuff yes. and be sitting like in Rob's bed be like oh well I didn't think you'd be here and you know like I know this is yours but I just borrowed it. Okay we need more. More. Leave your bra like in his bed so the next time she walks over. She could think that's like, anybody's. Not if it says Malika on it. Why don't you, you put a sexy picture of Malik on your background of your computer? A sexy picture. And Rob, you could have it up on your phone and be like, wait, Chloe, will you pass me my phone? Ooh, killer. Oh, that's a, good, a good idea. One. Wait, you know how Chloe hates <laughs> it? If you're in her like bathroom and like use her shower? You should go and take a shower together. And then obviously, whenever Chloe and Lamar are around, you have to just be super affectionate. Like, if you were to kiss in front of Chloe, she would totally stop messing with you. She'd be grossed out. She would be, be grossed so out. nastified. Be you need to practice. Kiss. 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 She said kiss. 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 Oh my god. <laughs>
Luigi and I are shooting with Corel Augustus for his Black Actors Coffee Table book. And I am so excited to finally see Chloe. Hello. Texas. Dallas, everyone is so nice. Southern hospitality, they're seriously so freaking sweet, but we don't know anyone out there. Jamie hasn't been to Dallas. No, Jamie hasn't been to Dallas. Let me ask you a question though. Do you feel like he could use a Jamie around? You know, Jamie, you kind of have to babysit. It's that bromance. Never you know, but I've already said that he needs, like, I want to go to the game, and I need to go to the VIP, and I need to be courtside, and I need to, like, yeah. Jamie is, like, the gimme, 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 gimme. Now that Lamar moved out of L.A., people don't invite him to parties anymore, so, like, yeah. Jamie said something to him, like, man, I'm losing all my friends because you're not here, and, like, those are called conditional friends. I don't know if Jamie really knows how he sounds. Like, when I first met Jamie, it was like a give and take. And the Jamie that is here now and today is a much more me, me, me Jamie. And I don't care, like, I'm, like, holding my tongue and doing whatever, but, you know, I think it's time for some honest communication. I hate to be the bad guy here, but Lamar does not like confrontation. If Lamar's not gonna have the heart to tell him how he really feels, his own best friend of 20 plus years, then I'll do it. That's sweet. I wonder if they're having an anniversary. Look at the gift. Why oh, don't we have an anniversary? We had one before. Before what? Before we broke up. Did we? You know, we've obviously been through ups and downs and broken up and gotten back together. I think we started hooking up in February. Is that right? Actually, no. And we can't really figure out how long we've been together, what anniversary we would count, and which year is what. I mean, we could just start it now and start anew. Why don't we start it this weekend coming up? I'll make a big deal of the whole thing. That sounds good. I mean, I happen to love you, obviously, more than you love me. Obviously. Which I'm OK with. Hi, party people. What's up? Hi. What's up, baby? She's like a full city girl now. I am like she the is queen New of the York. Look, LA yeah. is too slow for you. I think you too stay slow. here. We'll find you like a, a really rich tycoon stockbroker. It's New York. And, and you can stay. Jersey net. Uh, or, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Kim, who are you texting? Chris? So I met this guy, Chris Humphreys, and he plays for the Nets. We just had dinner, and we really hit it off. He's just such a sweet guy. He's so funny. But I really want to feel it out first before I start telling Courtney and Scott. So, you know, I just hope it really works out. You're like a predator. <laughs> I'm going to make you a man menu. <laughs> Keeping up con los Kardashians. It is the twins' birthday coming up, and apparently we're all gonna go to Vegas. We have drinks, we'll go shopping, and then we'll have a little day drinking while we shop, and then you go back to the room, we have drinks, then we'll go downstairs, we have dinner, we have drinks. You guys will be wasted. I want like, we lost our minds, lost control fuss. So, that's all very cute. No, it's my birthday, you should just like do what I wanna do. I am all for having a good time, but Malika was with me the last time I got drunk. It wasn't a pretty sight. Oh, yeah. shut the f up and put some f mask on you, you dumb bitch. She's very aggressive, you guys. This is a new her. <laughs> go. 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 I want them to have the best birthday, but I'm actually getting nervous. Keeping up con los Kardashians.
so I don't have to worry about it. I don't want to have a good time and you're not with me. I don't think that's a not a great, great time. time. I'm having more of an annoying time because you're annoying me. But I'll stop annoying you if you just give me what I want. You guys are so annoying. So annoying. Keeping up con los Kardashians. choosing to remove myself. You guys, I'm going to bed. God bless. Good night. Bow out. Bow out, bitch. I he used to hear stories all the time, like people couldn't make it, so they'd give birth on the front lawn of like some random I person's know, house. I know, I've heard all those stories too. No, we have to time it. Or she's going to give birth in the car. All right, let's go. We can't got to be in a rush. That's how <laughs> it's got to be. Yeah, I know. Let's go. We don't have time to chill like this. You see, it's got to happen. Let's do this. <laughs> Come on, oh, Kim. You're dripping. Shut the up. The water's about to go. I can't even begin to explain the anxiety that you have when you just don't know when you're going to go into labor. They always say your second baby comes quicker, so I just I hope I make it there in time. I just want to time it out, like from Calabasas to the hospital. The unknown just scares me. Whoa! Nice. Don't drive that fast. Oh my God, I'm so tired. You are? What's been going on? This stupid sleep paralysis thing is like really getting to me. Sleep paralysis? What is that? It's like you're asleep and then like the middle of the night, basically your mind wakes up but your body's still asleep. So like you wake up but nothing can move. Wait, can't speak what? nothing. It's Who's the scariest this? Why? me. It's the scariest thing in the entire world. You literally and think you you're never going to be able to your move body again. Up, right? You can't do anything. You're freaking out. Like cuz all you want to do is be able to move. So you're laying there and you're trying to move, but I think the key and is to can you try and relax. It? Nothing. I mean, I thought I was having anxiety. This is like so much scarier. I've never heard of sleep paralysis and I think it sounds like such a crazy experience and I feel so bad that she's been going through this. Hey, Kylie. Kimmy? So I'm bringing home the dog with me, but just to find an owner. <coughs> and I mean, I, I think it's not the cutest in the world. It's like this little, uh, little ugly rat, but you know. Oh my God, that is horrible. Do you have ever seen that to an innocent little dog? Are you taking it here? I don't have dog food. Yeah, of course. You're the one that has all the supplies. Yes. Yeah. Good. I thought you were taking it home to you. I'm like, excuse me. I'm the one that wants to take care of it. Good. You're the one that will take care of it. I don't have dog food. I don't have a dog bed. I don't have toys. I don't have anything having to do with this smelly dog. All right. When is she, she going to be here? I'm on my way. I'm going to go to the pet store and get a few things, and then I'll come over. All right. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Did you know that I had a wet dream about you? <laughs> the point of the matter is I miss you. Are you getting bashful? <laughs> Sorry, little pumpkin. Mm. Lamar and Rob are two peas in a bromance pod. I'm so happy you guys are together yeah. and enjoying each other. This is my, my little boo. I want to kiss you. I'm just sad that Rob's only staying for a week because I feel like Rob is bringing the old Lamar back. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that. Really good seeing you, Rob. Oh, shuckles, man. It feels so good to be back with the family. So why don't you stay? You make everything feel like we're back at home. We are smiling. It's because we're singing songs. You guys are <laughs> matching like twins. So why don't you stay? Uh. Why not? Thanks, Chloe. I love being at the house, but it's like, I don't want to take a step backwards. Why is it a step backwards? 
Originally, Lamar, when he met Chloe, he said, I want you to live with us, because he didn't want Chloe alone in the house when he goes on the road. And I just graduated from college with free rent. Like, of course I was gonna do that. But I'm about to be 25 this year, and it's not the life that I want. I want to earn everything I have. I gotta hold it down on the other side of the world. I get it. Rob is on the move right now, so he wants to do his thing. I understand that. But um, I'm a little disappointed. No, I'm miserable. <laughs> now you're miserable. I don't know. 